Well, surprise, surprise. It's another cloudy, dreary day here at Owner's Acres. Uh, seems to be par for the course. Uh, all this scattered rain, sometimes heavy, sometimes just a drizzle. Um, lack of sunlight seems to be par for the course. Uh, you will see finally behind us, we have a flag test going at Owner's Acres here in Aurora. Uh, our planting here was May 1st, and uh, I was out here Saturday and we were just seeing the first poke through. I was a little concerned about that, but in reality, I ran the numbers. Uh, we were only at about 110 GDUs, so it took 15 days uh, to get us at 110 uh, GDUs. Uh, so if it feels like your crop's struggling, coming out of the ground pretty slow, that is the reality of what we've dealt with here the last, uh, especially for that planting window around the 1st of May. Uh, for those of you that planted in the middle of April, around that 20, 23rd range, uh, that stuff looks great, got out of the ground pretty good. Um, so what we need to be thinking about next is, you know, how close are we to start putting some of these foliar and, uh, you know, PGR treatments on. So uh, what's important to remember is when you look at this plant here, and, and this is one that's just at uh, emergence, but your root system typically will only run about half the depth uh, of how tall that plant is. Um, I always encourage people to dig, but if you want to take the easy approach, however tall your corn is, that's about half that is, is where your roots are going. And when you look at small plants, they don't have that radius. They're not pulling up a whole lot of nutrients yet. In fact, is they'll live off the seed here until uh, you know about V2, V3 when they start getting a little more of a root system. And so we really encourage uh, the foliar feed you know, in that V3 to V5 range. Um, it may seem like those plants are pretty small, but what we're really doing uh, with a crew is getting a nice micronutrient pack to that plant, uh, helping it uh, buy some time while the roots develop and start pulling up nutrients from the soil. Uh, when you also look at the PGR, uh, what Realize is doing for us is it's stimulating shoot growth, but not only shoot growth, it's going to stimulate root growth, and then it's going to start stimulating some reproductive activity in that plant as we go into ear development. So. Um, those are the key whys to why we prefer to get that micronutrient pack on sooner than later um, to hit that plant before the roots really start to take over and then put that PGR on because anything we can do to stimulate that root growth, that shoot growth, get us a bigger plant going both above and below ground uh, will help us in, in uh, the production down the road. So um, just encourage you, hopefully you've all been out looking at your stands. I know it's a little rough in some places. Uh, that early window looks great. This later window looks pretty tough. Uh, we're struggling out here with some issues, uh, but we'll uh, keep talking about those as we go forward. But we really want to focus on, hey, in the next five to ten days, for those of you guys that planted in the middle of April, uh, we could be in that critical stage to start getting some of these treatments made along with our herbicide applications.